History and archaeology can strengthen our faith in the trustworthiness of the Bible. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the manuscripts of the New Testament, and the Kingdom of David all support the credibility of the Bible. The monarchy of David and Solomon represents the golden age in Israel's history. Without David, there would be no Jerusalem, the capital of the nation. There would be no temple built by his son Solomon. Ultimately, it was through the line of David that the promised Messiah came. The Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. That surprises us, especially after all the horrible things David did. What made him a person after God's heart? It was his humility, his brokenness before God when he messed up, and the fact that he knew he needed a new spirit and a clean heart. God's goodness led David to repentance. Repentance is a gift from God and is what makes the gospel practical and powerful in our lives. It helps us to continually see our need for more of Jesus. In 1993, archaeologists found a fragment of a monument dated nine centuries before Christ. The inscription in the stone mentioned the victory of an Aramean king over the king of Israel and the king of the house of David. The discovery was the first to prove that King David was a genuine historical figure. This is one of the many examples that archaeology confirms the historical reliability of the Bible. The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in caves near a place called Qumran in Israel in 1948. The great importance of the Dead Sea Scrolls is that they are more than 1,000 years older than the oldest copy of the Bible we had at the time. They included the complete manuscript of the Hebrew text of the book of Isaiah, which, when compared with our modern translations, presents no significant changes over the course of time. It's a confirmation that God's Word has been accurately preserved for more than a thousand years. Archaeology cannot prove the spiritual truths of the Bible, but it can illuminate and clarify its historical authenticity. The God of history, the God of the past, is the God of today. The Bible can be trusted because its author can be trusted.